The electronic market in India has been host to various companies which have carved a niche for themselves. One such company is Intex Technologies, which was set up in the year 1996 by Narendra Bansal in New Delhi. The company was founded by Mr. Narendra Mansal. He was in his uh, college in the year 1983 uh, when he realized uh, he, there was a, a monopoly of the MNC brands in the Indian market. He started the import of uh, audio video cassettes and uh, he used to sell them in the local retailers. He then transi transited in import of um, floppy disks and uh, again started selling them in the ro local retailers. The biggest advantage uh, he had while doing this was at that time the industry was dominated by the MNC brands. So, uh, so the prices of their products were extremely high. So ha he had a huge advantage uh, in the products being offered by him uh, were very very competitive. So it, re it, it, it gave him that push and uh, the demand for the products, the sale for the products immediately grow, grew exponentially. The company today is a household name with an exhaustive portfolio of 15 product categories ranging from mobile handsets, multimedia speakers, LED TVs and washing machines to name a few. But the start was not so easy. Mr. Narendra Mansal is the first generation entrepreneur. So he faced a lot of challenges and hiccups what any uh, startup company would face in its initial years. Well, to start with, as I said, the market was dominated by the MNC brands who had trust, a name and a credible image. So the biggest, one of the biggest challenge was to establish and change the brand perception. How to convince the consumers, dealers, the distributors to buy the products of Intex how to prove them the quality is really good. So that was one of the biggest challenge faced by Mr. Bansal during the starting years of his company. Low capital. Capital is one thing which is very very essential for any brand to grow. So availability of funds was another big concern. And the background where Mr. Narendra Bansal came from was not so well to do. So availability of funds was really a concern. Then the government policies, ease of doing businesses, tax structure was very, very complicated. And uh, the ease of doing business or setting up companies in, in India was really, really uh, strict and not so convenient. So therefore, uh, there were many challenges uh, faced by Mr. Bansal at that time. <laughs> Over the years, Intex Technologies has established itself by developing innovative products for its customers keeping in mind the price point. Because of this, Intex Technologies has been able to establish itself in four business segments which are mobile handsets, consumer durables, IT accessories and retail. The brand Intex covers three business verticals, namely um, mobile handsets, consumer durables and IT accessories. We exhibit an exhaustive portfolio of 15 product categories like mobile phone handsets, multimedia speakers, LED televisions, washing machines, IT accessories to name a few. See the biggest USP if I were to put for the brand Intex would be the innovative products. The brand has been successfully been churning out state of the art technological advanced product and gaining the first mover advantage compared to competitors. State of the art technological products comes at a great price, but the advantage with brand Intex is that the consumers do not really need to spend those high or big monies to buy any product. All products at Intex come at pocket friendly prices and something which consumers can easily afford. Then after sale service is extremely crucial. So that is again one of the biggest USPs for the brand Intex. We've got close to more than 1000 plus service touch points. You need not really travel even a mile to get your uh, products serviced. We are available in all the districts and tehsils of India. So it becomes that much more convenient for any um, consumer for getting the product serviced.
If you look at in the era of personal electronics, Intex is coming up uh, and we have been creating a space for the consumer also. And uh, Intex wants to come out as a force in this new era of personal electronics. As uh, for the customers, we are trying to create an experience through Intex Smart World. And uh, this space is uh, primarily for uh, consumer to experience our product, the wide range of services, the products that we are having it up. Customer can come down, experience these. Uh, moreover, if you're looking at our uh, uh, product uh, range, uh, Intex is a wide range of products, and this in we uh, through these my Intex smart words are creating an experience for the customer. And uh, we would be like a, a, a platform for them to come and see the personal electronic space that I've shared on and uh, personal electronic space is going to be a, a very uh, very very personal environment for the consumer also to experience that using the USP Intex has been able to become a large shareholder in the consumer durable and IT accessory space but what is making heads turn is their venture into the mobile market more on that after the break how to make those right marketing strategies and be on the top of the mind of the consumer to get that maximum mind share of the right audience is one big challenge which uh, the brand faces. for Intex Technologies has been the thriving mobile segment in which they have been able to become one of the fastest growing players of the country. It currently holds 8% market share in the Indian smartphone market and according to an IDC report, Intex acquired the third spot in the smartphone segment showcasing a two-fold increase in its growth. The brand has witnessed a 70% growth quarter on quarter with close to 1.7 million smartphones sold just in the previous quarter. There is a lot of competition in the domestic and the international markets. One of the biggest challenges is to maintain or rather provide better prices compared to your competitors in both the domestic and the international markets. The, again, one of the biggest um, challenges how to be present in the, on the top of the mind of the consumers constantly. You know, all these MNC brands have huge budgets uh, to spend. Um, being an Indian brand and starting from uh, a very low capital, uh, it, it, it isn't so easy to invest as the MNC brands, you know. So therefore, um, how to make those right marketing strategies and be on the top of the mind of the consumer to get that maximum mind share of the right audience is one big challenge which uh, the brand faces. The implausible performance of Intex in the mobile segment is partly due to its persistent appeal to upgrade mobile phone users to smartphones. Its flagship line of products has also very successfully endeavoured the attractive price segment with products such as the Aqua 3G, Aqua Y2 Pro and Aqua Power that sold around 500,000 units only in India. So yes, uh, the maximum revenue is generated out of Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities which are extremely important. However, the Tier, city, uh, the tier 1 cities are equally important as well. We cannot really miss out on any, uh, any of the cities for us to become the number one brand of the nation, we have to give equal importance to all the cities. So we are already present in the rural markets. Um, that is one of the biggest USPs of the brand. From day one, uh, when we were selling speakers, we were available in each and every nook and corner of the nation. If you talk about today, we've got a retail presence of more than 80,000 plus retailers, which clearly shows how well, we are established and present in all the uh, parts of the nation.
we have three factories one in jammu and two in badain himachal pradesh we've got more than 700 employees across our factories the factories manufacture products like mobile phones led televisions washing machines mobile chargers and various other mobile accessories we've got a very strong research and development wing at intex with a manpower of comprising of more than 300 people the r&d wing of intex uh, has its presence in china and india we've got a team of more than 300 specialized engineers um, using the state of the art technological uh, machinery who constantly strive to provide the best quality products and com- continue to innovate the r&d wing throughout the years have been successful in doing that um, for instance we've been uh, we we rolled out uh, matra bhasha which was the first app in india which let the consumers communicate in um, regional languages we were the first ones to bring the true octaco processor smartphone in india again uh, we are the brand who prides itself in launching asia's most affordable smartphone uh, we tied up with firefox and we launched a smartphone as low as 199 Face of increasing consumer demand in India and the country's strong emphasis on innovation, the company has a suite of novel marketing plans in its roster. It aims to invest 250 crores in its marketing operations in FY 15-16 to increase its product portfolio. In 2015, it is heavily focusing on cricket associations, digital marketing, and ground level visibility. The brand will be noticeable largely on television this year. When it comes to marketing, we been very aggressive and uh, we believe that uh, smartphone in particular is a product which people want to flaunt about so therefore a very credible and a very uh, niche brand image is important uh, for the brand it is very important for a brand to have the right marketing mix we been very aggressive in our marketing strategies we st- strongly believe that a brand has to be region specific in its marketing approach for the same reason um, we have a national brand ambassador farhan akhtar the famous uh, bollywood film actor and also we've got uh, superstars from the southern regions of karnataka like sudeep and anushka shetty from andhra pradesh endorsing the brand so these people act like anchors to the brand they support the brand and really help uh, in making the brand connect with the local consumers intech smart world is going to be a uh, footprint across uh, all over the country and we are coming up with uh, 100 stores uh, 400 stores in this coming year and with 100 cities we are coming to have the footprint shop uh, they will be like a showcase in a platform to come and experience these products uh, uh, in the cities Moreover, Intex Smart World is more about experience and experience to the consumers, the wide range of products and services that we are having it here. And uh, come, come customer can come down and experience these uh, stores uh, and the customer experience the products that wide range of products that we are having it here. And uh, we would be like a, a a platform for them to come and see the personal electronic space that I've shared on. And uh, personal electronic space is going to be a uh, a uh, very uh, very very personal environment for the consumer also to experience that also the make in india movement announced by the government has boosted the company's manufacturing plans it will be investing 100 crores in r&d and 200 crores to increase manufacturing capacity this year it has also recently inked a memorandum of understanding with the rajasthan state industrial development to start the smartphone manufacturing in which the company will be investing about 1000 crore rupees to set up a 50 acre large manufacturing facility in karoli of the bhiwani region we are seeing a lot of positive changes the budget has been a mix of i would put it the budget has been a mix of both positive and uh, uh, news for the uh, telecom and the it industry one of the biggest things uh, which this budget brought was a great support to this make in india campaign 
uh, which was evident with the increase in the import duties of mobile handsets uh, specifically. So this makes us uh, furthermore motivate to manufacture products in India. For the same reason, we have already tied up with the governments of Rajasthan. We've already uh, signed a MOU uh, to start manufacturing, manufacturing facilities uh, in that state. We are primarily focusing to become a completely self-reliable company. The first factory was set up in 2001, which manufactures speakers. Uh, we've started manufacturing of mobile phones and the ultimate aim is to manufacture all the products the brand exhibits. The company has a lot of expansion plans in the pipeline, but more on that when we come back. My father had a dream to make it the number one brand of India. Well, I have a vision to make it the number one brand globally. I look forward to fortifying the presence in almost all the countries across the globe. one of the world's fastest growing smartphone markets with over 111 million users. This number is expected to grow to 500 million by 2018 and for players like Intech, the opportunity is huge. See, the um, idea and the vision is to grow vertically. This year, this financial year, 14-15, we have grown 100% over the previous financial year we've clocked a turnover of around 4,000 crores. In the coming years, specifically in the financial year 15-16, we aim to become a $1.5 billion company. When, when we talk about products, we aim to become leaders in the respective product categories wherever we are present in. If you talk about brand index, um, we are a completely customer centric company. All our products, however technologically advanced products are which uh, we, we are providing in the market, we always keep in mind the consumer's needs and develop products accordingly. One of the biggest uh, factor which we have to keep in mind is the price. We cannot, seeing the Indian market, we cannot really go high on price. We have to uh, roll out uh, affordable products. So that is one thing which we really keep a check on. If you talk about quality, there are various factors to it. First of all, we've got a very strong R&D team, which helps us in giving the most technologically advanced products. Then we have manufacturing facilities where we ensure that the best products are produced. After that, we've got a brand assurance team, which makes sure that all the products that go in the market are of the best quality. And then in the end, we've got a very strong uh, network and a mechanism uh, through which if there is any kind of an issue or a defect or a problem which arises in the product, we make sure the, it, recti it is rectified as soon as possible. Along with the mobile phone space, Intex's largest foray has been in the medical tourism industry with its latest venture, Intex Care. Determined to make world-class healthcare services available at affordable costs, Intex Care is targeted to seamlessly integrate its services through its world-renowned network of hospitals in India and across the globe. Keshav Bansal, the young director of Intex Technologies, has plans to take the brand to newer heights and make it a leader in every space that it operates in. My father had a dream to make it the number one brand of India. Well, I have a vision 
to make it the number one brand globally. I look forward to fortifying the presence in almost all the countries across the globe. For the same, um, we've already started working in that direction by giving the brand a completely fresh and a revamped look in all its communication and brand perce perception. Intech seems to be ready to embark on the next phase of this journey. And we will have to wait and watch to see if it manages to take the challenges in its stride and really break out into the global market. <laughs>